Hello everyone, I'm Pamela, Oak Grove Mercantile, and today I am participating in the Spring Fling Sale hosted by Rachel, our good friend at Manor House Vintage. Today we have, I believe it's seven other resellers participating in the Spring Fling Drop Sale, and I am going to have 15 items today. And if you will please also, at the end of my drop sale, Vintage Vinny, our sweet friend, starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, directly following me. And I will have the links to Vinny's channel and everyone else that is participating in the drop sale in the description box of this video. Um, because if you're watching it later, catching it out of order, you can go back and see. And anything that, um, and I will be updating my items i'll have an inventory in the description portion and during the drop sale as they sell i will be uh, marking them as claimed and um if you're not familiar with the drop sale we'll show an item i will give you a price on it and you just claim it in the comments with like the corresponding number and we go by the timestamp. All of the comments have a timestamp on them so that way we know exactly when they come in and who to um award the claim to or the item to so without further ado we'll get started and i go in order so it's number one through 15 and i'll be showing you the each item and this particular item is a cool little vintage brooch uh oh it's shaped like an engagement ring and it's just cool it is pretty big too there's the size of it i just thought this was a little fun piece when i picked it up it is, I don't know why, I just need to put it in front of my face, I guess. It is exactly one and a quarter inches across, and it is two and a quarter inches tall. And it is just very shiny and sparkly in person. But this little piece is, this little vintage brooch, is $14, and it is number one. $14, number one. And I hope everybody's having a good day and enjoying this pretty weather. I have company with me today. Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage is spending a few days with me. And I have I am cannot be happier. So we may get into something a little later after a while, but you will have to tune in tonight at five Central. PM Central Time. We will be playing a game on her channel and the audience can participate. So don't forget to be over there if you're watching this early enough to catch that. Up next, I have a vintage dogwood. It's just a gold tone dogwood brooch. Sweet little texture. It's unsigned, but you can tell from the way it's made that it is vintage. Just a sweet, sweet little brooch that would go with everything. It is two and a half inches long. This little piece is $12, and it is number two. $12, number two. And uh, next we have three little, these are three little best cutie babies. They are adorable. They all have different poses. They all stand alone. This one has its mark on it. It says art mark little sticker and they are adorable. Each one has a little different, a different pose and facial expression. They are simply adorable, I think. Little Best Baby Dolls, they are $16 and they are number three. $16, number three. Adorbs. With their little, oh, I didn't even show the back of them. Look at their little tufts of hair on the back and their little wings. Simply sweet piece. Next, we have a, I'm going to call this simulated jade because I don't know for sure, but it is very cold to the touch. Jade and pearl, little abstract spring light brooch. Just really, this one is not marked. It has some residue like um, glue or something where this one has been repaired that I'm just noticing right now on there. But this is cold. Yeah, cold to the touch. It's either glass or jade. I believe from the way it looks that it's real jade, but I don't know for sure. It is $12, and it is number four. $12, number four. 
And then number five is a little set. This is a brooch and clip earring set. And even though this is more like a, now these colors put me in the mind of fall. This kind of like golden righty looking brown and red. This, this set is not marked, but this brooch is, um, let's see, three and a quarter inches long. So see, and the little clip earrings are the same exact little, same exact little design, but they're just a little bloom, the little bud. Just really, really sweet. And this little set, the earring, clip earrings, and the brooch, this set is $16, and it is number five. $16, number five. And then up next, we have little Humpty Dumpty salt and pepper shakers sitting on his little wall. They have their original little stoppers. They're marked made in Hong Kong or just Hong Kong on the back. Cute, cute little pieces. Let's see how big they are. Three inches tall. So Humpty and Dumpty salt and pepper are $10 and they are number six. $10, number six. Cutie pies. Number seven is another vintage brooch. This one, whoop. this one is not marked either, but it is so pretty. This is like an abstract little, kind of like a zinnia or something. It's really shiny, textured gold tone with a big Aurora Borealis stone right there in the center. Very, very shiny and sparkly in person. I don't know if it's coming up that way on the uh, screen for you, but it is two and a quarter inches long. Let me see if I can get it up close so you can see the textures and everything. Oops, sorry. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. Instead of my face a little bit. Very, very pretty. This one is $12 and it is number seven. $12, number seven. I hope everyone's having a good day and enjoying this. We are having beautiful weather here. You couldn't ask for it to be more perfect. Matter of fact, it feels kind of like football fall, you know. This is how it feels, football fall here. Up next is this Royal Albert. I thought this was really pretty and sweet. A little, uh, I think it's like a birthday cake or just any kind of little celebration cake. It's meant to be an ornament, I'm sure. But like if you, it was your anniversary or your birthday, you could set this out with a little happy birthday postcard or anything, just as a little decoration for birthday week, anniversary week, or anything you wanted to celebrate. It is beautifully painted with the, uh, old, I think it's Old Country Rose pattern. It is $10 and it is number eight. $10, number eight. And then this one made me think of Katie. And I've been missing Katie a bunch lately, so I put this in for her. This is a little top hat and cane brooch. This is um, like a textured gold here. And these are um, real shiny baguette stones here. And then this is black enamel on the end of the cane. Little top hat and cane, like, like a little theater or a dancer, like a vaudeville dancer. It's two inches tall. So this is in in honor of my sweet Katie Boo. And this is $10 and it's number nine. $10, number nine. Now I got the rest of them back here on the counter so I have to reach back here for them. This one, oh no, oh, we got it. Stand by, stand by. This next one is a vintage, uh, Faux Pearl Grape Cluster Brooch. Oops. It's just got, uh, and these are like uh, an ivory, off-white, pretty pearl, uh, faux pearl. Here's the back. Sweet little, sweet little brooch. It is one and a quarter, in, a little over one and three quarters inches tall. 
Look how classy and sweet that is. It's just so cute. It is $10 and it is number 10. $10 number 10. I haven't been up long either. I've been, we went outside to look at the birds Gabby found. Gabby found a, a family of little fledgling birds, what she called them, chickadees. And my old dead tree out here, the lightning struck. Well, I can't have my grass cut for two weeks. Anyway, we went out there and locked her and herself out of the house. I've had to crawl in the window. So if I look a little disheveled, that's, that's it right there. Next up is our little puppy in a basket. I have no idea what this is. It may be a toothpick holder. I don't know. Maybe a little match holder, but it, it doesn't. The bottom's rough enough to be a striker, but I don't know. It's just a cute little puppy dog in a basket. All of this is open where you can put something in it. Puppy in a basket is $8, and he is number 11. $8, number 11, puppy in a basket. Oh. Number 12, I love this brooch. I get a bow brooch, any, I get bows every time I see them because it makes me think of Kelly. She had the biggest bows in her head. Well, it was my fault. Look at that sweet bow brooch. It's got all kinds of a uh, prong set and bezel set. Yeah, prong and bezel set, clear rhinestones in it. It is two inches wide and two inches tall. There's what it looks like on your shirt. It is $10 for the bow brooch, and it is number 12. $10, number 12. Cute package. We got two more. And I didn't, I purposely didn't put a number 13 in my thing. Man, Cindy's been having a, we've been having a little rough day today, so I didn't want to chance anything. This gold time, now this is mine from like the 80s. This is, I thought this was Ann Klein, but I can't, wait a minute, there it is. Yeah, Ann Klein. This is a pretty little vintage 1980s Ann Klein necklace. Here is the clasp, little toggle. You can adjust it. It has like a two inch adjuster on there. And it is just like a jewel tone for a jewel tone neckline. And these little knocker earrings go with them. Little door knocker earrings, very very 1980s, very classic looking. So here are the earrings, little door knocker earrings, and the Ann Klein little link necklace. This set is $14, and it's number 14. $14, number 14 for that little set. And then last but not least, we have a vintage brooch. This one is, nope, it's not marked, but it is very textured. It, it is uh, like a matte finish. But all of these petals, look how the petals are turned. It is just so pretty. Very dimensional. It's got some weight to it, but it, like I it said, it's not marked by anybody. But it is just very, very sweet and pretty. Very little leaves. There's the back with a little Y construction. This one is $12 and it's number 15. $12 number 15. And that concludes my item for the drop sale. And again, I want to thank Rachel at Manor House Vintage for um, hosting the drop sale and all the work involved in making our, uh, getting everybody involved in making our um, promos and things for us. And if you will, please go and hop on to Vintage Vinny. He's up right after me at 7 p.m. Eastern. And uh, if you want to go back and uh, look at anybody else, they'll all be marked in the description box below. Okay? Thank you so much. And I appreciate it. And have a good day. Bye.